I'm a surgery resident at UAB. I'm going to be talking today about um, bariatric surgery and its association with renal function improvement. I have nothing to disclose. Um, so just a little background on my topic here. Um, with kidney disease, uh, diabetes, obesity, and hypertension are all independent risk factors uh, for the development of a kidney disease. Now, bariatric surgery um, has been shown to be an effective uh, means in reducing hyperglycemia, hypertension, and in weight loss. However, there's not a lot of great data out there on how bariatric surgery actually affects uh, kidney disease. So the two surgeries we looked at in our study were sleeve gastrectomy and a laparoscopic room eye gastric bypass. Uh, so sleeve gastrectomy uh, is a restrictive procedure. Um, it alters neurohormonal pathways uh, and is an effective means in remission of diabetes and hypertension. So uh, as opposed to gastric or room eye gastric bypass, uh, which is both restrictive and malabsorptive, um, an effective means also in uh, remission of diabetes and hypertension has been shown in some studies to have a greater amount of weight loss compared uh, to sleep gastrectomy. Now, given that both of these procedures work in different ways, uh, we thought that they may have a differing effect on uh, renal function. So the aims of our study wanted to determine if bariatric surgery was associated with improved renal function as measured by GFR, and then to deter determine if a difference exists between sleep gastrectomy and ruin y gastric bypass uh, regarding the postoperative renal function. We hypothesized uh, that bariatric surgery would be associated with an improved post-op renal function, but would differ based on whether or not the patient had a sleeve or gastric bypass. This was a retrospective review of a prospectively maintained database uh, on patients who underwent ruin y gastric bypass and sleeve gastrectomy between uh, 2012 and 2014 in a single center institution. Our independent variable were whether the patient had uh, sleeve gastrectomy or ruin y gastric bypass, and then our variable of interest was renal function as measured by uh, GFR. And we calculated this using the CKD epi equation. Uh, we used the appropriate statistical test uh, based on whether categorical or continuous variables to determine significance. And uh, I don't have a table here, but some of our demographics. So during our two-year study period, we had 149 patients that underwent surgery. 86 of those were gas uh, gastric bypass, 63 were sleeves. We had no significant difference between those two groups regarding their preoperative comorbidities. So age, diabetes, hypertension, BMI, or their baseline GFR. Our mean follow-up time was 20 months. Uh, this first table outlines uh, some of our post-operative outcomes. Now only 103 of our patients we had complete data on that showed up to all of their clinic appointments. Um, as you can see here, the the ruin y gastric bypass um, did have a significantly greater percent weight loss, 30% compared to 22%, at a larger change in BMI. With regarding the other comorbidities as uh, hypertension or diabetes remission, um, there was no difference. And there was also, both surgeries showed an improvement in GFR, but they weren't different by surgery type. So next we actually stratified our cohort and wanted to look at what about the patients who have renal dysfunction at baseline who undergo bariatric surgery. So a GFR of greater than 90 is considered normal. A GFR of less than 90 um, can be considered stage 1 CKD. So in our study, we looked at, um, I'll draw your attention to these patients who had underlying renal dysfunction before surgery. And this bottom column here, um, so 42% of our patients with some baseline renal dysfunction actually improved to a normal GFR in these 20 months after um, undergoing bariatric surgery. And then we also wanted to see what does this look like over time. Um, on the graph over here on the left, this was uh, charting weight loss over time. And as you can see, um, gastric bypass had a significantly higher weight loss all along the way um, as compared to sleeve gastrectomy. And then looking at GFR, uh, we can also see here that there was no difference between the two surgeries in GFR, but the steady increase over time. So some of our key findings, uh, weight loss differed by surgery type with Rue and Y gastric bypass being more successful compared to sleeve. Uh, and bariatric surgery was associated with improved renal function, but no difference by procedure type. And in patients with some degree of renal dysfunction, 42% improved to a normal GFR after undergoing surgery. Limitations of our study include we had a small sample size, um, and then 46 of our patients are actually didn't come to all of their clinic appointments. But we did have GFR uh, on all of the 149 patients for whatever reason when they come back into the hospital and we had those GFR calculations. 
Um, it was difficult to adequately measure GFR in the obese population, um, especially in those with rapid change in lean body mass. Conclusions, bariatric surgery is associated with an improvement in post-op renal function up to two years following surgery, and is especially notable in those patients with underlying kidney disease. And the improvement in GFR over time was similar for both surgeries, uh, suggesting an alternate mechanism driving the improvement of renal function by bariatric surgery rather than weight loss alone. Thank you. Question from the microphone. Thank you, good talk. Um, is there a specific please, amount? Please identify yourself. My name is Candace Chipman. I'm a fellow in bariatric surgery. Um, is there a specific percentage of weight loss that you feel is the cutoff that patients have to lose before they see an improvement in their GFR? That's actually a really interesting question because there's been some other studies out there um, looking at just having bariatric surgery in itself and measuring uh, serum levels. There's, there's a thing called cystatin C that you can actually measure renal function. It doesn't vary by GFR. And just undergoing bariatric surgery alone has been shown to decrease the, these inflammatory markers um, and then also has shown to improve GFR in all of these patients. So I think that there is all, I mean, I believe weight loss does contribute to this a lot, but I do think that there are a lot of other factors like inflammation um, that bariatric surgery uh, acts on that actually improves uh, uh, the renal function itself. Thank you. So do you think it could be that with a loss of visceral fat, you just have improved renal blood flow? Uh, yes, no, I, I definitely think that the, the loss of weight itself alters the renal hemodynamics. Um, but like I said, I, I think that this study really highlights that we, it's, it's not all just on weight loss, and there are a lot of other factors contributing to this, and I really think inflammation and the decrease in that associated with weight loss um, could be a, a driving factor.